Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how to stay productive during the holidays. Routine. If you do have things that you need to do, whether it's school or work related with a deadline right after the holiday or a break, I do recommend creating a loose schedule so that you know when you are working and you kind of have a progress of when you will finish. It's also really nice to schedule in a couple of days where you don't do any school or work related stuff if you feel like you have time for that. I usually don't really have a strict schedule during a break. I like to plan it more loosely but then again still have a goal of when to finish the certain tasks that I need to do. Read. I really enjoy reading and it's something that I don't really have time for other times of the year so during a break I read a lot of books. I usually start my morning by reading maybe a chapter or two or 30 minutes and I think it's a really refreshing and nice way to start my morning. I also have been getting back into audiobooks and I really enjoy listening to audiobooks before I go to bed. I find it really relaxing and I do enjoy reading in bed but at night I get tired really fast so listening to an audiobook is also a great alternative if you prefer that rather than reading a physical book. Learning language. I have been learning languages on and off for years. I have obviously learned some in school as well. And I do like to spend my break semi productive, especially if I don't have any school to be done, and try to either pick up a new language or try and relearn a language that I've already kind of learned and I just spend five to ten minutes a day learning a language whether it's a new one or an old one. Start a new hobby or pick up an old one. Breaks are really great for starting a new hobby. You can find a lot of resources online you have YouTube where you can find a lot of videos and you also have the website Skillshare where you can learn things like calligraphy, video and photo editing, you can find videos learning how to knit. The possibilities are endless. During my breaks, I really like to focus on practicing the piano. It's a hobby that I've had for a really long time. How I practice is I've gone through my old piano books that just teach you the basics. I've also watched some music theory on YouTube. I've also tried to use Skillshare to learn a little bit more about video editing because that is another hobby that I have and I want to get better at it. Creative writing. I really love to write, especially creative writing whether that's short stories or novels that you never really finish. But nevertheless, it's really fun. I do really enjoy spending part of my day to write. It's something that I really enjoyed doing when I was younger, but obviously you start getting busier and you don't have time for it. So if you're one to enjoy writing or if you want to try it out, I think a break is the perfect place to start because you have time to do it. And it doesn't have to be anything serious at all because you're the only person who's going to read it anyways. And I think it's just a great way to think a little bit differently than you usually do when you write an essay, for example. Just a fun way to be creative. Bullet journaling. Bullet journaling is a habit that I just picked up a couple of years ago and it's something that I really enjoy, especially now at the end of the year. This is the time where you kind of start your new bullet journal because it's a new year soon. It's another creative outlet where you can customize your planner how you like it and you can use it as a planner and a journal all in one. So if you want to start bullet journaling, I think it's a great new thing to start your a break. And those
those were all of my tips for how to stay productive during the holidays. I really hope that you found some of these tips interesting and want to try them out. This is also my last video for this year and decade, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in 2020.